April 2009, the American cargo ship Merc Alabama is violently hijacked by Somali pirates. Right away, the 20-man crew of the Mersk, Alabama, decide to fight. Below deck in the ship's control room, Chief Engineer Mike Perry hears a statement from the bridge. Captain announced over the radio, the bridge has been compromised. There was a very clear signal. It was his way to tell us that, that they had a been... Perry, a former Navy man, instantly understands that Captain Phillips is no longer in control of the ship. Instantaneously, I reached over and threw a switch, took all control away from the bridge. So Captain does not, he's not my boss anymore. He's out of the picture um, and, and I'm in control. Mike Perry is now effectively captain of the ship. It's on the bridge. The remaining crew members know they must avoid capture. Mike Perry orders them below deck. They continue to secure the ship along the way. They head for a safe room, known as the Hyde, deep within the bowels of the ship. Nobody hesitated, nobody stalled, nobody cracked. We were moving fast. With the crew hidden, Perry's next step is to prevent the pirates from taking the ship to Somalia. Using alternate controls below deck, he shuts it down completely. Their leader marches Abel Seaman Reza below deck to the engine room, where Mike Perry hides in the dark. Perry comes up with a plan, trying to alter the balance of power on the ship by capturing one of the pirates himself. The whole concept was to, to make an attack from that point and, and kill or capture. Moments later, the pirate appears. It's the leader walking behind Abel Seaman Reza. I saw a reflection of his face come past the edge of the bulkhead, and I lunged up at him. Put a knife short right to his throat. I was pushing down, down on his neck, and I kept driving, 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 like, and it was like going through tough, tough leather. There's blood everywhere, and it's, it's, you can smell it. I can almost taste it. Perry and Abel Seaman Reza overpower the pirate and have their hostage. 300 miles off the coast of Somalia, Chief Engineer Mike Perry captures the leader of the Somali pirates who have attacked the Mersk, Alabama cargo ship. Perry takes his captive deep below deck, where the crew is holed up in a hot, dark safe room. We unlocked the door and he pushed this pirate in. So when he comes, it's, it's almost like they landed a big fish. But as Perry shuts the door, he hears a violent skirmish inside. As I was closing the door to the room, I had a man it dawned on me that these guys were going at him. Their leader marches Captain Phillips to the engine room, where Mike Perry hides in the dark. So, all of a sudden, the door opens. Flashlight beams are bouncing around through the engine room, and it's the captain with pirates. Can't tell how many. They're within six, eight feet of me. Perry avoids capture this time, but he knows the pirates will return, and he has to put a plan into motion. But I have to do a, I do a little sanity check here. You know, is this, is what I'm about to do sane? But I look down the other path in my mind, the concept of being captured. There was no way I was going to allow myself to be put in that position. Perry's plan involves great risk, trying to alter the balance of power on the ship by capturing one of the pirates himself. The whole concept was to, to make an attack from that point 
and, and killed or captured.